So if these hot temperatures are making you feel like you can't think straight, well, you know what? You might be onto something. A new study found when temperatures go up, your cognitive performance goes down. Dr. Elizabeth Mead with Swedish Medical Center is here to offer some insight and uh, some comfort to me. I, I thought it was just me. No, I, I, but actually, though, this study specifically looked at, at college students, right? right? But does this affect everybody? It probably does affect everyone. So this was sort of an interesting study because a lot of the research on effects of heat have actually focused on more sort of vulnerable populations like elderly people or potentially kids. So this is one of the first studies where they're looking at really young, healthy people and how heat affects their ability to sort of think and process. So crazy from the heat. It's, a, it's an actual thing. Yeah, I mean, anecdotally, we all know this, right? There, when it's really hot or really cold, we feel like, gosh, I just feel like I, I'm right. a little foggy. I can't really think straight. But this was a sort of research-oriented way to, to prove those effects. So how does the heat hinder our cognitive performance? Well, any time that we're exposed to something that's really extreme, so hot or cold or dehydration or anything that sort of affects our normal physiology, one of the things that can happen is that people can get a little confused. They may not process as quickly. Right. This study looked at things like, so they, they split college students into two groups, one of whom had air conditioning in their dorm and one of whom didn't. And they asked them to perform tests on their smartphone first thing when they woke up in the morning. So they found that they were having decreased processing times, that um, if they were in air conditioning, and so if they were in heat, it took them longer to process, they had more difficulty with simple math questions and those sorts of things. That's interesting. So, so in Eastern Washington right now, let's talk about like Washington State University. Yeah. Um, classes begin like now. So, you know, th these these are kids in dorm rooms. Right. They don't have air conditioning. It's very very hot over there. So, I mean, obviously, they could struggle early on this They this could, and you know, I think it's interesting. This is a really fascinating study to just think about those sort of subtle cognitive effects, but really what we worry about in college students who are in non-air conditioned dorms is more serious things like heat exhaustion or heat stroke. So while I think this is interesting, it's really important for people to recognize that there can actually be very serious consequences to living in non-air conditioned places when it's really hot outside. Okay, so what can we do to, to offset this? So I think the more that people can be in cool environments, the better. So if there's a place that they can stay with air conditioning, that's great. Even things like fans, cool towels, cool showers, that can all be helpful to sort of decrease. Part of the interesting thing is that heat tends to sort of retain indoors. So even after it starts to cool down outside, it might remain hotter inside the dorm room or apartment or wherever people live. So that evening can actually be a good time to get outside if it's cooler outside than it is inside your apartment. There have been some studies that show that, that, that the elderly, for example, they, they can have some, uh, you know, mental issues mm -hmm. when it when it gets warmer, but this is really kind of groundbreaking in that it shows that that all of us that's are, right. are affected by the heat. Yeah, so presumably college students are sort of at the peak of their right. physical health, and um, so even they are affected by heat, and I think it's really something for us yeah. to keep in mind. Yeah, an eye-opener. Yeah. All right, Dr. Elizabeth Mead, thank you so much. Thanks.